Hey everybody, welcome back to your Action Figure Friday unboxing and toy review. And one, two, Freddy's coming for you. Or should that be three? Because we are here to open up the Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors NECA Ultimate 7 inch action figure of Freddy Krueger. And you know these NECA figures are the legit deal. And I'm pretty excited about this. This is the latest Freddy Krueger from this line, I'm pretty sure, unless this is a re release but I don't think it is. And the box art is always fantastic because it looks like those vintage movie posters, but the figure is even cooler. So let's open up the window box and take a quick little look. We get this ni nice art piece here. I do love the photo work they do and the lighting they do for it. And I really need to probably get the boiler room accessory because that would make for some great backdrops. And now obviously he's gonna come with some cool stuff. He's got a, one head, just one head. Well, I mean, technically two heads. A couple of glove variants, including the finger syringes, which is great. Little Puppet Freddy, removable hat, chest with the soles, and the little house, which we already have one of these. Mine lights up. I don't know if this one will, but we will find out. So pretty excited to open this. I do have the Nightmare on Elm Street 1 and 2 NECA figures, which we will eventually open on the channel. But I figured since this one is still relatively new, we would take a look at this first. This is also one of the few toys that I do tend to keep the boxes because I think the boxes look really nice though. I did only find one at the time and I mean it has some damage and that's kind of a bummer, but that's fine. So let's get in here and let's see what we're gonna get from NECA and Real Toys. Aha, I always like to go in from the bottom because it's a little bit easier to hide any problems if you have them opening them. And we pull it out. Ba -ba -da -da. Nothing else in the box. And all right, all right, all right. This is gonna be pretty tight. So I do have some of the Jason figures. I like that I even got the Angela from uh, Night of the Demons, which is in scale. I didn't, okay, so I see how that's gonna work. Let me get everything out of here, and then of course we'll take a close up look at all of it, and we'll check the articulation and all that kind of stuff up close and in detail. Ah, I like that, it's not just one, it's not like just scotch taped over. There's actually a plastic piece that helps hold all that in place. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's cool. We'll talk about that in a minute. Hopefully I don't forget. Let me get the hands out. All right. Put that back over. Tape it back down for now. Oh, a twist tie. That's unusual. Shut up, Echo. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. You're fine. All right. Why am I having so much trouble with... The, oh, geez. With a twist tie that is like tied once. There we go. I think. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's weird that that stuff is just... The, the rubber plastic on that just totally just stripped off on me. <laughs> All right, Freddy. He's been slashing it in the box. He's bored. <laughs> okay, so first and foremost, let's take a look at the accessories. So we do have the house. It is really nice, the paper mache house. And now I cannot think of the character name. It's interesting that that's bent up. And of course, from the eight inch retro line, we have this house, which is actually a little bit bigger. I guess that makes sense for the scale. And of course this one lights up, but that came with a different figure. You can find that unboxing on my channel. Was that, uh, it was Tuxedo Freddy, that's what it was. So that's not bad. And of course you get the little puppet Freddy, little marionette Freddy, which was creepy as can be. And I do really like that. It looks like that's the stand of pool of blood that's gonna help him stand. Maybe, I don't know, is it because it's on a shirt? No, that's just awkwardly positioned. So you might need to work with bending him around a little bit. I mean, careful not to break him, but maybe he's just a little bit warped. Oh, there is actually some articulation in this. So that's pretty spectacular. I think that's all the articulation though. Yeah. So that's kind of a bummer that that's kind of bent out funny. Oh, no, that turns a little bit. So maybe you can, uh, maybe you can work with kind of placing that in a way where it's gonna stand a little better, but you're probably gonna have to lean it on something. We get this awesome screaming face and he has the cross in there. And what's really neat is, let's see if you can see it. Let's see if I can angle it to see it. Uh, you can, oh, there, there it is. It's kind of see-through. So I think you could shine a light up in here and make that actually light up. And you know what? I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera, but I got this little flashlight here. Let's see if we can make this do anything. Oh yeah, check that out. Oh, that's cool. Oh, even his like mouth, well, from certain angles, his mouth is glowing, okay. Enough of that, that's really sweet. I dig that. We of course have the fedora. Dirty brown, dusty fedora. The syringe hand glove. Yeah, oh, I like that you even get some palm detailing. That's really nice. 
Again, NECA, you do a great job with your sculpts and detail work. I mean, look at the, the detail in that hand right there. Well, I guess, yeah, they're both the syringe hands. That makes sense, too, because I was thinking it was both hands. And then, of course, you get this pop-on chest plate, which we will try here in the video in a moment. So you can have all the screaming souls coming out. That's pretty cool, even though I much prefer just the basic old Freddy. Now, this is a great-looking Freddy Krueger. The facial expression he has right there is fantastic. Oh, that's cool. You actually have some side-to-side -side head articulation. I don't know that I've seen that kind of articulation. There's a little bit of up and down. That's good, though. You don't need too much. And, of course, he twists pretty well. Um, you get your normal shoulder articulation here. It looks like the chest wants to pull apart a little bit, but that gives you a little bit more room to move. Of course, it does twist. A pretty well-hidden jointed elbow. Does seem to be single-jointed, as best I can tell. And, of course, you twist there. Get some wrist, twist, wrist twist articulation. And maybe just a little bit of a bend. Not too much. No finger articulation, so this one is posed that way. And, of course, they do bend up a little bit in the packaging. He twists at the waist a tiny bit, not much. There's a tiny bit of up and down, or back and forth. Can't, well, you can pull one leg out. Yeah, I guess they both come out. I don't want to pull them out too much. Slightly ball jointed. And plenty of room to move there. And you can get some twist up in the hip, so that's good. Plenty of posability. Again, a great job on hiding the knee joints here. And then we have the foot, which doesn't have a lot of articulation. And that's mostly because the pant cuff seems to be blocking it. But overall, pretty darn sweet. <laughs> I used to be able to do a pretty good Freddy laugh, but not anymore. Let's see if we can get that hat on. How well does that hat go on? Yeah, there we go. Who's up for some smooth jazz? Some deep cuts? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. All right, so <laughs> you guys wonder why I have such corny jokes. It's like, I grew up watching these movies. What do you expect? <laughs> All right, so this comes off pretty easily. That is creepy in its own right. What if, no, that, that's going to keep you from doing it. But I was like, I wonder if you could store something in there. That'd be kind of neat. This may also be why you don't get too much chest articulation. That pops in so easily, by the way. And I love that it has the torn material here. That is great. <clears throat> that is really great. Let's go ahead and try changing out the head. I wasn't going to do this, but let's do it. Since we got the chest on, I want to see how difficult this head is to get off and on. Sometimes the NECA stuff is just really stiff. And then sometimes it's a problem. All right, so that took a little effort, a little power, but we got it. Getting them back on is always the trouble, though. Ah, especially when they have pointy ears and things. <laughs> ah, jeez. It's like on enough, but it's not... All the way on. Oh, stupid me. I didn't even notice that they have a place to shine the light through. <sighs> That's going to have to do. <laughs> so let me grab that light again and we'll shine it from behind. Like, look at the, like, how that leaves impressions in my fingers. I mean, that's, ow. <laughs> Get that as focused as we can. And then, yeah, boom. Ah, that's actually great, man. That's great because you could rig like a little light little Christmas pin light or something back there on a display stand. So that would be pretty fantastic. Oh, and then let's check this wrist. We didn't check that wrist articulation. Yeah, you get a bit more on that one. So that's pretty good. So there you guys go. That's an awesome Freddy Krueger, man. I'm really excited about that. I don't really want to swap out the hands because they're a pain and I want to keep the glove on anyways. So I like everything about this, except this guy won't really stand on his own. But as far as these Freddy Krueger figures go, that is pretty spectacular, and I'm a happy camper. Now, what about y'all? Ooh, that would be cool. How about some Angela from Sleepaway Camp figures, NECA? Come on, bring it, bring it, more horror. And by the way, I need victims too, so if you want to make the Dream Warriors, that would be pretty fantastic. Especially, I mean, you could do like comic variants where, or uh, like Comic-Con variants where, you know, you have them as their actual Dream Warrior characters and then versus their regular looking uh, characters in the, in, the, in the group or whatever. But let me know, what do y'all think about these? Are you collecting these? Do you dig these NECA figures? Freddy or Jason? Who do you prefer? I'm definitely a bit more of a Freddy fan, though I love me some Jason. Comment away, geek out with me in the comments. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Also, you can click the thumbs up button, give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And I guess I'm gonna get out of here so I can go open up some more stuff and have some sweet dreams. And I'll see you all <laughs> later.